In this video, you'll see in dramatic slow motion footage what happens when birds drink with water pressure too high. You'll see how ventilation can hide considerable spillage and find out the best way to maximize performance. Let's start by stating what should be obvious. Everybody wants this. Nobody wants this. So how is dry litter accomplished? By having all of the water go into the bird, as you see here. Producers must understand one critical watering principle. Water spillage always takes place when more water is discharged from the drinker than can be retained in the bird's beak. A day-old chick size limits the amount of water that it can retain in its beak during the drinking process. As birds grow, their beaks grow and producers can increase the water pressure in drinker discharge. As long as the water pressure is maintained correctly, the bird will be able to consume most or all of the water that is discharged. However, producers all too often are told to aggressively increase water pressure in the belief that all of the increased water discharge will go into the bird, thereby increasing feed consumption and weight gain. But this does not take into account how much of the increased discharge is actually spilled and not consumed by the bird. Look what happens when the water column pressure is increased too aggressively. At higher pressures, more water is released from the drinker than can be retained in the beak. This excess water tends to go everywhere, with all too much of it ending up in the litter. Clearly, the excess water is not ingested by the bird and thus does not result in birds eating more feed. And of even greater concern, Water spilled in the litter creates health problems that downgrade the birds and harm performance. In hot weather, producers often see dry litter and tend to keep raising the column pressure, thinking the birds are not receiving enough water. But the dry litter is often the result of aggressive ventilation that mass spillage by evaporating and exhausting the spilled water. With high column pressure, spillage is taking place, wasting water and costing money. The bird's beak size still limits water ingestion during hot weather. The beak is not larger during hot weather, nor smaller in cooler weather. So spillage always happens when more water is discharged than can be retained in the beak. After raising the pressure during hot weather conditions, producers may fail to lower the column pressure when the weather cools and ventilation and air movement is reduced. The result is wet litter and deterioration of the bird's environment and bird performance. The key takeaway is that drinker line column pressure should be adjusted in a manner that supplies ample water for the bird's beak and little or none for the litter. Visit the Poultry Watering You website for more video and a practical management procedure to maximize performance.